Hey, what's up, astronaut? Shane here from Rocky Parrot Sound. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this really, really weird sound that I made, okay? Uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna title this video. That's how weird this is, but it's fat. You're gonna love it. This is what it sounds like. There's a few different variations, but this is it. And then we can turn off the vibrato. Turn on the rate, okay? All right, sounds really, really cool. There's not too many sounds out there like this, so stick around, I'll show you exactly what's going on because we're not using FM from B. This is something else. Hey, what's up guys? If you wanna join our Discord group, go ahead and click the link at the top of the description down below, and just like that, you can talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, in our Discord, go ahead and join. Anyway, without further ado guys, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. First things first, guys, we're going to be using basic shapes, so we're going to be turning on both oscillator A and oscillator B. So the reason we're going to be doing this is we're going to leave them both onto sine waveforms just like this, and we're going to go ahead and turn on sync onto oscillator B now, okay? Maybe I'm moving a little bit fast for you, but guys, stick with me. This isn't the important stuff. I'll slow down for the important stuff. Don't you worry. Anyway, let's go to the global tab and turn on... Um, uh, where is it? Double click for typable values on controls. So now we can go ahead and go to the sync and just type in three. Now it goes to exactly three. So we have three uh, copies of the waveform. Okay. Now we could have just turned up the octave three or whatever, but you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so now we have three cycles of the waveform playing in one. But guys, the reason why we're not going directly and turning up two octaves to get the same result is because, stay with me, we're gonna go ahead and modulate the sync later. We just want three to be the starting point, okay? Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and move up to the next part. We have oscillator B that's gonna be going up one octave, an additional one. So now we just have two sine waveforms and one is at the root note and the other is a few octaves higher, probably like Shane, what the hell is going on? Stay with me guys. Now things are gonna start to get fun here. Let's go ahead and take LFO number one and turn up the amount to 10, okay, that we place on here. And as you can hear, things are starting to get pretty weird. Let's go ahead and shape our LFO one now. Put this on envelope and we'll leave this on one fourth. Now it's just, it stays there. Okay, and this exact tonality right here uh, that we're jumping to on the sync, it's what creates the inharmonic sound. So we're gonna just leave it just like that and that's gonna be perfect, okay? Sync is great for creating these harmonic and inharmonic sounds because we could get these partial uh, bits of the cycle. As you can see, uh, like this isn't complete and that's what creates a really, really weird resonant sound, okay? Anyway, let's go ahead and go to our filter. We're gonna turn this on for both oscillator A and oscillator B. Take our cutoff and now we're just going to put this on here just to add in a little bit more movement here. Okay, nothing crazy. We could turn up the resonance a bit. And now turn up the drive though. Okay, right away, boom. And by the way, I'm in octave C0. You can hear right away, guys, this is the exact tone that we're going for. We're also gonna wanna tone, turn down the random phase on zero. That way we don't hit random parts in the phase. You know, it's gonna be starting from the exact same po point in the waveform on both oscillator A and oscillator B. So we get the same sound every time you press the note. Anyway, guys, that's it for the glow, for the oscillator section. But right away here, you can start to hear how we're creating this harmonic sound just by taking one waveform and then another waveform and then messing with uh, the harmonics. And then when those two waveforms clash, they create really, really cool harmonic sounds. Um, this is what Zomboy did when he originally created the nuclear patch. Well, not exactly this, but a very a similar concept, okay? Uh, now what we're gonna do in the effects is we're simply going to turn on our filter because now we're gonna add a little bit of movement and we're going to grab our combs filter in the miscellaneous section, all right? Turn up this resonance because this is gonna add in like the flavor to the sound. It's gonna give it some room, some dimension, some tonality. Take our LFO one, and we're just gonna take this, make it go back, minus three. And right away, you can hear there's a different tone, you know? It's a little bit more, or a little bit less like intense. It's more like humanized that way. Now we're gonna turn on our compressor, and we're gonna put on multiband. Maybe turn up the gain a little bit, but we're just gonna leave it just like that. We don't need to mess with any bands or anything. Turn on our distortion, okay? Because why not crispen it up, all right? 
This is once again there just to add in a little bit more color to the sound, similar to the filter. Um, and we'll, we'll just leave the mix at around 50%, you know, or yeah, yeah, somewhere around there. That's pretty good. And now we're going to add in hyper. Just a little bit to run in the background here, just a little bit more stereo width, a little bit movement there. And then the dimension, low size, high mix. As you guys know, you are, you're so smart. You guys already knew that. Uh, but now let's hit, hit it right into the EQ. Okay. The EQ is very, very simple here. So if we listen closely, we want to bring out those like gurgly, <laughs> growly frequencies a little bit, the ones that we make it talk. So we're basically be going to be creating like a little double peak filter here with the EQ. And let's just go ahead and push these in towards the middle. Now, most of the time, if we're creating a sound that has a lot of movement, we'll actually modulate these from around here in towards each other, and then we'll create a vowel-y, like vocal speaking sound. But instead, we're just gonna leave it at this, uh, like one constant vocal -y speak. <laughs> what am I saying? Yeah, this, this one constant point where both of these frequencies are, so it's just static, you know, it's just static in this one place. Okay, so now we got this part done. We got the easy shit. Let's turn on mono, legato. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of movement. So when we, cause when we start to mess around with the pitch, that's when the sound actually sounds really cool. See what I mean? Well, bam, added in some pitch bend. Now this is just like an extra bonus. We can go to the matrix, turn on LFO two and create a quick little vibrato LFO just like that. And we can make this go global master tune. See how it's going from negative one or from, it's gonna, it's gonna go from negative one to positive one since it's uh, is set to back and forth. Put this like this and now we'll just make the auxiliary source macro number one. And we'll name this vibrato. And just like that, guys, that's how we made this amazing sound. Uh, it's so harmonic, so rich in your ears. If you guys like this video, make sure you drop a like on the video, of course. And then also click that subscribe button. What are you doing if you haven't already subscribed? You're just sitting there watching these videos. You're like, hmm, why? Why haven't I subscribed? I know why. You're holding yourself back from true success. No, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going crazy right now. I don't know what I'm saying, like, at all. But, <laughs> no, um, seriously, though, guys, if you like this video, just, I don't know. I'm going to end the tutorial right here. Without further ado, guys, my name is Shane from Rocket Powered Sound. Make sure you join the Discord server so you can talk to me personally. Uh, this video is pretty cool to make because the sound, nobody fucking makes sounds like this. So without further ado, guys, my name is Shane from Rocket Parrot Sound. I'll catch you in the next Serum tutorial.